Hey, so there might be some cases where you want to charge your users to in order for them to use the app. So in previous in the previous video we covered how to charge users to appear in the app like their business listing or their profile or something like that. But then there might be cases where you are selling access to the app. Now for that you need an allowed email list. That's a pretty simple setup. But for that, you first need to upgrade your app, your Glide app to Pro. That's one of the, the upgrades uh, for Glide. So first thing that you do is you upgrade your app to Pro. Then you go here to your gear, to your settings, and then click um, Privacy. By default, our apps, our templates are public with email, right? So we are allowing anyone to log in as long as they input their email. Now, what you want to do to sell access, to sell, to make it as a, as a closed app, a membership app, you will use allowed email list. By default, the sheet will be the profile sheet. So, as we have already covered in previous videos, in our profile sheet, we have an email column, right? And this is where emails should appear in order that when a user logs in using their email that should already be here, this their email should have, you should have uh, pre-populated that user's email in this column. When you add your user's email addresses in this column, then they will be able to log in. They will always see the same screen when, when opening the app. There will be an, an area for them to add their email address. If the email address is in the back end, is in the profile sheet, then they will be able to get to log in either with a PIN or with Gmail as usual. Otherwise, they'll get a message that they cannot access. So that's how you set up that. Now, why is the allowed email list pointing to the profiles tab? Because if we click here, the three lines menu, and then I click this icon, let's go back to layout. Let's do that again. If I click the three lines, click the icon, then Glide knows, because I've already told Glide, that my user profiles are on this sheet, on the profile sheet, and then name is in the named column and email is in the email column. That's why Glide knows where to point here on privacy, which sheet has the emails for users. So our temp your template already has this set up. So just make sure that you can also have a password protected app, which is pretty much the same thing. And you also need to upgrade your Glide app in order to use the password protected app. Same thing, you just add a password. Then when users try to log in, they will have to have that password. If you don't want to have um, an allowed email list, then you can have a password. The cons for a password protected app is that if users share uh, the password with other users, they will be able to log in. With the allowed email list, only the emails that are in that column will be able to log in. Now, this requires you adding every one of your clients or users' email address to that column so that when they open the link to your app, they will, able, will be able to log in. 